case the pituitary gland is the master endocrine gland okay it controls all the other glands okay and when it's weak other other glands are going to be weak as well okay stuff like the thyroid parathyroid adrenals um they're all controlled by the adre um, pituitary gland so it needs to be in good working order the right here is the pineal gland and the forehead is right beside it okay you can see also chronic the pineal gland affects sleep and when it's compromised you have sleep issues and also um, affects hormone regulation as well so these need to be uh, brought up to good speed i would use an endocrine tincture to strengthen this you can see you see those rings going around and around those are called nerve rings indicates weak adrenals okay remember when i mentioned that when the pituitary gland is weak you have weak um, other weak glands where the the adrenals are it's a perfect example you see how um, you have those rings going around and around nerve rings means you have weak nervous system okay so this needs to be addressed i would use an adrenal tincture and adrenal glandula as well um if you see that yellow color the orange color that's limb stagnation subacute limb stagnation because this is a, this is a brown eye okay and it's turning yellow because the amount of limbs in, in the eye is stagnant so right around here is this um, skin ring see that dark ring going around the um, iris indicates that you're not sweating properly indicates a weak thyroid also indicates uh, weak kidneys meaning the kidneys are not filtering lymphatic waste and when the kidneys can filter out waste, the skin will take the burden because the skin is called the third kidney. But the skin is not as efficient in eliminating waste, so it's going to accumulate the acids underneath it, and this, it will show as a skin ring, which you do have. So there's a weak thyroid and weak um, kidneys. This, this should be addressed. If you look closely, you see there's a purple hue in the actual um, pupil that indicates um, eye issues, potential cataract, high cholesterol indicates. Okay, so it matches with the cholesterol around here. And then if you look closely, you see those fine lines leaching out of the uh, pupil. It's called radii solaris. In any case, toxic tunnels of waste leaching out to other body parts and glands, okay, especially the brain section right here, full of um, radii solaris. Okay, you want to address this. The bowels are chronic. You see, all, right here is the sending colon, small intestines, and right here is the transverse colon, and right here is the sending colon. You can see it's your, your bowels are to move into a chronic side. And if you look closely around the bowels, there's a line going there. That's the autonomic nerve wreath. Indicates a weak digestive system or weak nervous system as far as the um, digestion is concerned. Okay. So what we need to strengthen this by using adrenal glandular and adrenal tincture. The very top part here is the hair and scalp region, okay? And below here, this entire section here is the brain section. You can see it's quite heavy with lymph, stagnation. Also, the orange and yellow tell me that you have pot potential candida and sulfur, okay? When you have sulfur, it attracts candida, and so you need to clean this up, okay? I would use the parasite tincture, antimicrobial. I would clean the bowels, okay? Because the bowels, I'm as much a right person, so I would use the bowel cleanser and a bowel... Um, strengthening just to strengthen the bowels because when you look at this eye here apart from the nerve rings what's really prominent are the bowels okay and the brain section is full of mucus as well so we have to address that the epileptic center of the brain and where that dark line is is where the medulla is and the mastoid is beside it okay when, when this happens the mastoid and the medulla are responsible for dizziness balancing in the equilibrium and when they're congested you have these issues arising soon okay so you need to address this cerebellum is located uh, close to it as well and cerebellum is the hard drive of the brain it's what sends information from the brain to the rest of the body so it needs to be addressed i would use a neurological thing and the circulation tincture here to address this section. Okay, right here is, uh, is the ears, okay, and right here is the shoulder. You can see there's a dark line, uh, so radar solaris going across it. In the case, they are weak, and you see the nerve rings going across it as well. So I would use the circulation tincture and the neurological tincture to address this as well. Here's the ear region, the neck region, and right here is the shoulder region. You can see it has radar solaris going across it. Again, it's heavy limb stagnation congestion. This section right here, this entire section right here, is the upper and lower lung region. You can see heavy limb stagnation congestion, and the breast is located right here. Okay, you can see it's covered with lymph. Right here is the chest, ribs, and thorax region, all heavy with limb stagnation condition as well. So, uh, you know, you can see the nerve rings going across it. So I would use the respiratory T and the respiratory uh, one tincture to address this, okay, because you want to make sure that there's blood flow in this region. This section right here, this entire section right here is the heart region, okay, and you can see it's quite congested with lymph. Okay, so I, I don't like to see that, so I, I would use circulation tincture to boost blood flow to this region. Because you have a nerve ring going across the heart as well. Okay, so that means nervous function for the heart is weak. So we need to um, address the adrenals and address, uh, use a circulation, circulation tincture to strengthen this. Right here is the right hand and arm region. You can see radii solaris going across here, okay, so there's weakness there. Okay, and right here is the um, spleen region, also heavy limb stagnation and congestion. Okay, right here is the diaphragm, and right here is where the ovaries and testes will be located. Okay, and right here is the, where the pancreas will be located. Heavy limb stagnation congestion. For, if for a male, I would use the prostate formula to strengthen that region. For a female, I would use the reproductive F formula to strengthen this region as well. Okay, very important you do so. Right here is where the pelvis, abdominal wall, and the groin region are all located. Heavy limb stagnation congestion. I will use the circulation down tincture okay, to address this region here as well as help with the, um, uh, the testes or ovary section as well. Okay, So circulation down for this region as well as that. And if you look here, that's the right foot near thigh region. Also has heavy limb stagnation congestion. So the lower circulation tincture will help this as well. 
And this section here, right here, is where the kidneys and adrenals are located. Remember, you see your adrenals right here, the, the dark color? Okay, when your adrenals are weak, you're going to have the nerve rings. You're going to have the autonomic nerve rings around the bowels. Okay, and um, this is important that you take care of because adrenals are crucial. They also control the kidneys. And so I will use an adrenal glandular. I will use an adrenal tincture. And I use a kidney tea and a kidney tincture as well because the kidneys are not filtering out ways. That's why you have this yellowish color backing up. So we, this, this, is, this section is very important. A kidney tea, kidney tincture, adrenal glandular, ag ag adrenal um, tincture as well to help um, address this region. Right here is where the uh, va vagina... Um, it's right here where the vagina, uterus, or the um, penis and prostate region were located. You can see the prostate region especially is full of limb stagnation, congestion, or the, um, in the female will be the uterus will be congested. So I would use the prostate formula for a male, and I would use the reproductive F formula for a female to strengthen this region. Right here is where the bladder is located. It also has a, a limb stagnation and nerve rings going across it. Okay? When you have any bladder weakness, you have a kidney weakness, so you need to address the kidneys to address the bladder. Right here is the lower back, you can see the dark line going across it. Right here is the middle back, and right here is the upper back region, all heavy limb stagnation congestion. The spine runs right here, and there's a nerve ring going across it. So I would use the circulation tinctures to help strengthen this region. Right here is where the scapula is located, okay? And, and right here is where the esophagus, and right here is where the voice box is located, the throat region essentially. It's full of limb stagnation congestion. You also have nerve rings going across it. Use the respiratory um, T and the respiratory tincture to address this section. Right here is where the thyroid is located, okay, you can see it's congestive lymph, okay, when you have a weak thyroid, you're going to have a skin ring, as you do. So I will address the thyroid with a thyroid tincture called thyroid lift, okay, beside it is the parathyroid, and above it right here is the tonsils. The parathyroid is responsible for calcium utilization, and so when it's weak, you're going to have um, spider veins, varicose veins, brittle nails, all those will eventually come, and bone issues, skin issues, so you want to address it. I would use the endocrine tincture, okay, then the tonsils as the main lymph node for the head region. When it's weak, um, you're going to have issues with, um, with the head, acids in the head region. So I would use the secretion tincture and move the whole lymph system with herbs and fruit diet, okay, with the herbs I recommend it. So right here is where the tongue is located, okay, you can see that dark line there. The, the tongue, lower jaw is located right here, the nose, the upper jaw, and the eye region all located around here. You can see heavy lymph stagnation. This is sinuses. When the sinuses are congested, you can have issues because, because the head houses the endocrine, major endocrine glands, like the pituitary gland. So you want to make uh, use stuff like uh, chew horseradish root to help break the sinuses. Uh, um, use eucalyptus oil and inhale it so it can break the mucus. You want to use the ear candle to clean out the uh, mucus in the ears. You do some eye washes. Anything you can do to break the mucus in the sinuses to allow free flow of energy, okay? So anything you can use to break the sinuses, you should do it, okay? Because you don't want uh, mucus in the head region. It's very important to understand that. And the forehead is right here, again, heavily, heavy congestion. Okay, so in this eye, what's very pressing, as I mentioned before, are the nerve rings, okay? So weak adrenals, weak kidneys, weak bowels, okay? You have a malabsorption ring going around the pupil right here. That dark ring, that indicates you're malabsorbed. So I would use the bowel cleanser and a bowel strength tincture to address this, okay? Because when you can't absorb nutrients properly, you tend to lose a lot of weight, especially when you are trying to, to detox as well. And it doesn't allow you to absorb nutrients properly, so you want that cleaned up. But what I can see in this eye, that's very pressing are the nerve rings, okay? The bowels, the kidney and the adrenals, the thyroid, um, the brain section is full of mucus. Um, I would go on a herbs and fruit diet and use the herbs I suggested when I was reading the eye. I also give it time because if you look closely, um, this level of lymph stagnation, the, the yellow, okay, is sulfur, candida, and heavy lymph stagnation, subacute level of lymph stagnation. So a little time is required. Okay, I'll, I'll actually use a lymphatic um, tincture to help you move the mucus and move the lymphatic system. Uh, if you look at the sclera right here, the red, you see that you, you have a lot of red blood vessels. And it gives high acidosis as well. So the body is highly acidic and we need to clean this up. 100% fruit diet, give it time. You have good genes, so it should, take, it should be easier for you. But it still needs a lot of time because this is deep, deep-rooted.